Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Redefined Horizons, and this is the second video in the little set of videos I'm going to do that shows you how to import RTK vectors and total station vectors from TBC and run an adjustment in Starnet. So I've got Starnet 9 on the screen, and what we're going to do in this video, uh, we're going to see if we can trip through setting up a project. And then we're going to import our GPS vectors, our RTK vectors, because that's a little bit easier. We've got some cleanup to do in our total station vector file, so we're going to save that one for, for the second. We're going to do the GPS vectors first. So let's go ahead and start a new project here in microsurvey and get it, get it set up. And uh, you got to bear with me. It's been a long time since I've ran this program. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to stumble a little bit, but this this video is for my own uh, my own training purposes as as well as for others. So we're going to go ahead, come in here and say new project. And I've already got a folder set up. This is the project that I used before. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just update the date. Today is the 27th, so we can start with a new project. All right, so we've got our project set up. Now we want to go in under Options Project, and we want to uh, set some of these. So we want to do a 3D adjustment. Uh, we're using U.S. feet, degrees, minutes, and seconds. And I do have a grid coordinate system. You need to have this set if you're going to work with GPS data. And then you need to tell it what coordinate system you are. And I got to remember here how to do that. Let's see. All right, we want to go right here. I don't know why this button is blank, but it is blank. And we want to come in here to State Plains NAT 83. And then I want California 83 Zone 3 right here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and say OK. And I think that's all we need there. So even though that says metric, this is set to feet. So I think we're gonna we're gonna be okay here. All right, let's see. Let's just check these other settings. I don't think I mess with most of these. I want northing and easting on my input order. You might want to change this depending on your preference. This is your angle data uh, station order. So. You can have it your backside, your instrument point, your foresight, or your instrument point, backside, foresight. I'm going to leave it at the default here. This is a really important screen on the instrument. You want to go ahead and input what you think your uh, distance errors are going to be um, for your, your default uh, settings for your instruments. This is conventional here. So I've got three hundredths. That's a little high, I think, on the distances. I'm going to put that to two hundredths. I'm going to put a little PPM angle here. Horizontal angle, that's probably okay. I think my vertical, just knowing the total station I was running, I'm going to set the zenith angle error to be a little, little larger there. And then I'm going to try and put in some realistic centering errors. My guys are good, but they're not that good so I'm gonna just go ahead and say hey I've got about a hundredth on each of those we can come back in here and adjust this if we need to I'm just gonna take the defaults here defaults here cluster detection this is uh, what Starnet uses to see if you've got a basically a duplicate point so TBC has a similar feature and that's fine. I'm going to just leave the, the default for here. Uh, GPS, let's see. So I'm going to say go ahead and apply the default error to vectors with no weighting because I'm not sure that we're getting a weight out of TBC. And so it's just uh, we're going to put in a little PPM error here. It's got some standard error. And then I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, we got some vertical standard error too. Okay, and then I'm going to say, yeah, we've got some centering error on our GPS as well. I'm going to go ahead and set that to 100th and 100th. Okay, so I think that's that's roughly, 
that's roughly uh, what we want to do there. So I'm not going to mess with the geo uh, modeling for now. I'm just going to say okay. I think we've got our project set up. So now that we have the project set up, we'll, we want to go ahead and import our GPS vectors or RTK vectors that we exported out of TBC. And if you watched the first video in the series, you remember uh, that we were able to export that as a Trimble TDEF, Trimble Data Exchange Format, and it actually comes out as an ASCII file. So we want to go ahead and, and import that. So we're going to say in, input under the input menu. Right here it says import GPS data. And I've, I've already got it set here to Trimble Data Exchange. And uh, it's going to export to this GPS folder or GPS file, sorry, .gps. And then it says tell me your input folder, input file, excuse me. So I'm going to grab this ASCII file right here is my GPS data. And we're going to say import. And you can see here it went ahead and brought in the GPS vectors. And then my buddy Logan Boggs helped me remember how to how to do a bunch of this stuff in StarNet. So what we want to do here, we can hit this right right now, this little green check mark, and just check this data. And it's it says, hey, uh, it's telling me I do have some problems. So right now it's saying, hey, you don't have any control points fixed. That's okay. And so of course because it didn't fix any control points, it can't compute coordinates or elevations that's okay but otherwise we didn't have any problems here in our in our GPS data so that's great alright so we're ready now to go ahead and set up our total station data file and, and when we do that we're also going to take care of this problem we have with no fixed stations so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video now I'm, it's a little short I'm only at seven minutes but it's a good place to stop and then when we resume we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna look at the uh, the setup we need to do on the DAP file for the total station data, and then we'll, we'll run our network adjustments.